So hey, I don't profess to be a Korean cook by any means. I wouldn't even really know where to start. So this is my spin on it. K-pop is actually a product that was sent to me by K-pop. And uh, it has a gucci jang in there, which is a chili paste, and it's got Korean flavors. And so I'm letting it do all the Korean flavor work for me. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this chicken. I got two chickens. We're gonna spray both of these chickens with some canola oil that we're gonna put on salt, pepper, garlic. So we're gonna do that right now. I've already got these trussed up with uh, some butcher's twine. I've got the legs and I've got the wings tucked in for nice two little neat bundles there. This is a uh, Pam, which is canola oil. We're just gonna spray that. It's gonna do two things. It's gonna help the seasoning stick. Plus it's gonna give it a nice brown color as it begins to cook. And like I said, salt, pepper, garlic, it's all in one nice little easy shake container here. Just gonna go on, not too much, just you know, a generous amount, but not, not too awful much. You do want to put some in the cavity. Just want good coverage more than anything. Now I am doing this on a rotisserie. I'm using the Lone Star Grill Santa Maria as the fire source. We've already got a fire built into Santa Maria and that will be our fire source. And I'm using a Kanka rotisserie. I bought and paid for it with my own money. This is not a sponsored video, but what I like about it, it's very universal. You can use it on any grill and it's going to work perfect over the Santa Maria. It gives me an option to also do rotisserie cooks on a Santa Maria. So you can see the size of these skewers on this Kanka rotisserie grill. Push them right on through this entire chicken piece of cake. So you know this rotisserie will hold up to 28 pounds. I think it's 28 pounds. Might be wrong. It might be something more like 22 or 24, but it's a lot more than what these two chickens weigh in. I think together both these chickens is around nine pounds, so we're good. And I am going to put a little bit of space between these to where you got hot air that can get on both sides and make sure it all browns really nice. So the next step is just to touch up a little bit where we knock seasoning off. I am burning lump charcoal. This is Fogo lump charcoal and I've got two splits of cherry wood. We're just going to let that burn down the coals. And I'll probably just keep cooking with the lump. For the remainder I did want a little bit of cherry flavor in this chicken which pairs very well. All right, we have been going right at two and a half to three hours. Rotisserie is not as fast as putting it inside like a, let's say an oven or a Kamado where you got the dome to hold heat in all the way around. It's kissing the heat as it rolls around, so it's a slower process, but all the fat has been dripping off this chicken and little fire bombs have been popping off and it's just infusing that flavor. This is gonna be really good. What I'm getting ready to do now is I'm t I got two K-pop sauces, which I mentioned at the beginning. This is their not so spicy version. And this one is their triple X sauce, K-pop triple X sauce. So I'm putting the hotter version into this bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the whole contents because I'm sure it's going to take it. It's a real nice thick sauce, nice color. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this has the Korean gochujang that uh, is a chili paste. So hence the heat. So now we're gonna take the not so hot K-pop sauce. That's got a different color. This is more brown looking. 
So I'm going to take this inside one. This is going to be our triple X bird. And we're just going to paint this on here. So let's paint the rest of this side. And I'm going to roll it around. And we'll do the other side. Next time you see me, we're going to be doing a taste test. So we're going to garnish it a little bit with some green onion, some scallion. Tell you what, there's some fire in that sauce. That is good stuff. We got some toasted sesame seeds. Just let it rain. That's two pretty looking birds. And I'm telling you that triple X sauce is hot. But I like it like that. We're fixing to cut it into this breast. Super tender. Get out of here, flies. My goodness. I wish they'd take a bite of this because they're going to burn up. Look at that. It's just falling apart. It's so tender. Skin's wanting to stick down here. Oh, no. You're, you're coming along for the ride. Get on that fork. Here we go. Mmm. Ooh, that's got some punch you in the face heat right there. Excellent flavor. All right, now I've got a little coleslaw here, and this is using the third bottle. This is the kimchi mayo. I have no idea what this is going to taste like, and it's supposed to pack a little punch, but I was hoping it would have a little bit of a cooling effect. Mmm. Ooh, that's a really good flavor. It does have a cooling effect. You know, the dark meat is my favorite because it, to me it has more flavor, but I always like cutting into breast on these videos for the mere fact that if you can produce a juicy piece of breast, and let me tell you, that is juicy. That is super juicy. Mmm. Oh, man. Whoo. This one isn't as hot. This one had me on fire already. If you want a milder sauce, then just go with the straight K-pop. If you want it kicked up, go with the K-pop Triple X. Awesome stuff. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And again, I'm showing you a different way of doing things out here on the Santa Maria with this rotisserie. Takes longer. But you talk about a fine end result. This is fantastic. Hope you give it a try. Until next time, smoke your ribs.